seven problem. So in a problem over here, we have tangent of pi halves minus theta times secant omega pi. Now, let's just go and think about number on this expression. If I was going to multiply 3 fourths times 1 third, I'd immediately see that the threes would divide out, right? And therefore, I'd just be left with 1 fourth. So our idea of simplifying, ladies and gentlemen, is to simplify, right? We want to get these either to combine to like one term, or we want to have things like reduced, right? Divided out or combined. Notice when I multiplied these, that simplified the result. Would you guys agree? OK. So obviously, right now, there's nothing really I can see that would simplify this. Um, typically, when you guys see that the co-function identities and the even and odd, right? let's go ahead and rewrite these as their other function. So the way that I memorize the co-function identities is I just think about the graphs that are the same with the transformations. So think of pi halves minus pi as transformations. And if you were to apply transformations to tangent, you would only get the cotangent graph. You're not going to get sine. You're not going to get cosecant. You would just get cotangent. And then remember, the even and odd functions is basically um, whenever you have the trigonometric function of a negative angle, it's always going to make a negative function, except for cosine and secant, because cosine and secant are even functions. So the secant of a negative angle is the same as the secant of a negative angle, or of just secant of theta. So by applying these trigonometric identities, I didn't really get anywhere, though, did I? I did simplify it a little bit. Right? It looks a little bit easier to my eyes, but I didn't make anything easier. So one way that we talked about last class period to you know, help simplify this is a lot of times um, it's always helpful to put things in terms of sines and cosines. So we can see what might divide out or what might we can combine. So if I rewrite cotangent as cosine over sine of theta, which is my quotient identity, and I rewrite secant as 1 over cosine of theta, which is my reciprocal identity, and you guys, are, you guys agree with me, that's OK to do it that way, right? It's OK? OK. Now I can see, just like my 3's divide out, what divides out over here? My cosines. So I'll be left with 1 over sine of theta, which by using my reciprocal identity again, I can rewrite this as cosecant of theta, which I would say would be pretty simplified in my case. Pretty well simplified.